this is my back brace um, from when I was younger. It helped keep my back straight, growing straight. This just means to me how much I've grown. It's important to me, obviously, because it. this was a big step in my journey and it just kind of amazes me. So I was born with a bone mass in my back, um, which caused really bad, um, a really bad curve in my vertebrae. Some of my ribs fused, some of them never grew, and my shoulder never grew, and neck problems. I was diagnosed with scoliosis, and I've had 15 surgeries since I was six months old. <laughs> This, this had a pretty big effect on Morgan. Um, she, there were a lot of whys, you know, there were a lot of why did this happen to me? And we, we just tried to try to tell her, you know, it's, it's, it's um, you know, religious or not, you know, it, it happened to us because I felt like we were a family that could handle it, you know, and, and she was a person that was able to handle it. She took it that way and she ran with it and she always had the greatest personality and, and always just seemed really strong and, and can't help but idolize her for that, you know. So the surgery yeah. started when she was four years old. Um, then going from there, she had about two a year up until 2017, switched to magnetic, and then we'd go in every like six months or so just for those office visits to adjust. My magnetic rods were much better than my other rods because I just didn't have to have surgeries anymore. Um, I could finally do things that I wasn't able to do and just be a kid again. They completed my back surgeries by just fusing up my spine. Just probably the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life. My overall experience with, with the Children's Hospital is they, they were fantastic. We couldn't ask for better help than, than we got up there on the Peace floor. Uh, the nurses and the doctors all just they were very patient with us, very kind with us, and and again, I just, I can't say enough for how much they helped us. And they did a lot to help make it fun for her. I mean, hospital's not fun, but they like child life with their positive attitude and like they had activities that they could go and do if they were feeling up to it. The hospital staff always, you know, is very nice and they ask you how you're doing. They give you activities. It's just amazing. I think Morgan's future is, is pretty much anything that she wants it to be right now. Um, I, I feel like that probably had she not had these operations done or this, these procedures, that she might not have as many opportunities open to her as she does now. And, and now you can't tell that there's anything, anything happened to her. Right. So I think that with everything that's happened here, she can do anything that she wants to now, whereas that may have been limited before. Oh yeah, I don't see this holding her back in any way. If not, it's just made her even stronger. She's pretty darn confident. She's not shy. I mean, it, in doing this kind of stuff where she can get out and talk about it has you know, really helped her grow you know, just as a person. When I was younger, I was just blissfully ignorant. Um, didn't know what was happening to me. But as I got older, I realized, you know, other kids aren't doing this. Why am I the only one? It was terrible because you feel like no one will ever understand you. But then you kind of just realize, like, this is me because my surgeries have changed me. Um, I'm much more grateful for life, and I feel like it made me who I am, so I probably wouldn't change anything about myself, and I realized, you know, people might not understand, but, you know, you've always got to believe in yourself. <laughs>